Okay, good day guys, good day to you all. Welcome back to the Formula Sports channel. Thanks for being here, right? Thank you for all the support, guys. The support has been much appreciated. I want to I want to talk about this because we need we need to talk about it, right? I personally feel we need to talk about it, right? For starters, let me just preface my comments by saying. I say all of this with the greatest of respect to our national head coach, Theodore Tapa Whitmore, right? Let's be clear on one thing. Theodore Tapa Whitmore is a legend in Jamaica's football and we absolutely have nothing but respect for Theodore Tapa Whitmore, right? He has done a decent job as coach, right? To be fair to him, all things being considered, and, you know, I personally have nothing but respect for, for him. And I hate to hear when people get disrespectful, right, when talking or referring to Theodore Tapa Whitmore. So let's just make that absolutely clear, right? But with that being said, and I fear this was going to happen before the Costa Rica game. And it has indeed happened, right, where we had a decent showing against Costa Rica, right? a decent result against Costa Rica, in Costa Rica, and the cause for Tapa to go. You remember this hashtag that was trending on, on Twitter? Look at the bottom of your screen. You see it? Hashtag Tapa out. That was what was trending before the Costa Rica game, right? All of a sudden, the Costa Rica game has come and gone, and the general consensus seems to be that Tapa should be given more time, right? Or Tapa... He, 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 he earned, so to speak, uh, another run, another go at it, so to speak. Or the, the, the pressure has been cooled, so to speak, because there were quote-unquote encouraging signs against Costa Rica, right? And, and, and so he would, have, he would have earned the right to, 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 to coach another game as the national head coach, right? The pressure has cooled. It definitely has. I mean, when I even hear top man like Oral the Maverick Tracy saying that, you know, um, Tapa, basically Tapa has, what did he say again? Basically that, what did, what, what did Oral Tracy say again, man? Oh, God, man. Basically, oh, Tapa's job safe for now. That, that, was what he, that was what the headline was. Tapa job safe for now. Exactly. That was what, um, the um oral Tracy, oral the Maverick Tracy would have said, Tapa job safe no. Right? Guys, with the greatest of respect to Theodore Tapa Whitmore, I think we need to move on past Theodore Tapa Whitmore right now. I think we need to move on past Tapa right now. Right? Guys, do not be fooled by the Costa Rica performance. Please don't be fooled by the Costa Rica performance. We need to keep the pressure up. Right, we need to keep the pressure on Theodore Tapa Whitmore or the JFF, right, to replace the national head coach. Right, some people say, Oh, who we're going to replace Tapa with? Right, who we're going to replace Tapa with? Right, we do have money to, to, to afford decent coaching. Right, according to the JFF, they're going to be in serious debt if we do not get to the FIFA World Cup in Qatar. We are going to be in serious, serious, serious debt, right? Even far more, far greater than what we have right now if they don't get um, sponsorship, right? I mean, guys, we're talking about crippling debt, absolutely crippling debt. I fear for the nation's football. I fear for the nation's football if we do not get to Qatar. I fear for the nation's football, guys. And my whole thing is that, guys, do we really and seriously truly believe that Theodore Tapa Whitmore will get us to the, the Qatar World Cup? Do I believe the squad is good enough to get there? Absolutely. Do we think the coach, gener, genuinely, guys, do we think the coach is good enough to get us to the FIFA World Cup in Qatar? Because I don't, I don't know about you, you know, people. Honestly, I don't know about you, but I personally don't think Tapa has the capacity to do it, right? So what happens if we don't get to that World Cup? 
we we'd be in in such crippling debt because you guys know we get um prize money for qualifying for the World Cup, right? What happens if we don't get that? The numbers that I hear the JFF throwing around, you know, right? The amount of money that they need to fund this campaign and they don't have it, right? We're going to be in serious problems if we don't get to Qatar, guys. Do we think Theodore Tapa Whitmore is the man to do it? The squad is good enough, right? But in my humble opinion, Tapa cannot get us to the, 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 the upcoming World Cup, right? He just can't. Guys, the Costa Rica performance was a good performance. Don't get me wrong, right? It was a good performance, right? And credit to Theodore Tapa Whitmore for setting up the team the right way to play Costa Rica. Here's my thing, though, right? Here's my thing. Theodore Tapa Whitmore cannot set up the team like that to play against stronger opposition. You know why? Because Theodore Tapa Whitmore cannot. In my humble opinion, I don't think he has the required technical and tactical expertise to be able to play that type of football against stronger opposition. Guys, let us be clear. Do not go off of big name. Yes, Costa Rica is a big name in CONCACAF, but right now they are arguably they are arguably the weakest team in, in the octagonal Many people, the general consensus is many people, right, think that it is either between El Salvador and Costa Rica, right, as the weakest team in the octagonal, right? They are certainly, Costa Rica is certainly in the conversation to be the weakest team in the octagonal, right? And my thing is that don't get too carried away by the Costa Rica performance. To be fair, he set up the team the right way to play against Costa Rica, but I do not think Theodore Tapa Whitmore has the technical expertise to be able to play that type of football against better teams. Guys, what we saw in the Costa Rica game was, was technicality versus mobility, right? So Costa Rica being the slightly, you know, they're, they're, they have the better technical players, no doubt about it, right? They have the better technical players, right? We here's the thing: the gap between us and them, where the technicality of our players is concerned, is not that big of a gap, right? Here's the thing, though: the gap between our team and their team, where mobility is concerned, is a huge gap. It is a huge gap, and that's why I say it was a matter of technicality on the part of the Costa Ricans versus mobility on the part of the Jamaicans, and because of the gap in mobility being much bigger than the gap in technical ability between the two teams, you would have seen where Jamaica would have put up that sort of performance that we put up against them. We also put up a decent performance against them in the Gold Cup, right? And my thing is that, my thing is that, we, we saw in that game, right, we were first to 50-50 balls. We were first to 50-50 balls, right? When you when think about it, right, other teams in the octagonal will be closing us down, right? Their players will be closing down our players on the pitch a lot quicker than the Costa Ricans were closing us down, right, in the game, the, the, in the, the game against Costa Rica, right? We, we won a lot of the second balls as well, right? Guys, against... Guys, I'm telling you, against better teams, and not, Tapa does not have the technical expertise to play that type of football against better teams. In my humble opinion, he does not. Guys, let us not forget, right? We have seen some absolutely atrocious games from a tactical standpoint from Theodore Tapa Whitmore, especially, well, many people have been talking about it for a long time. In recent, look at the first two games. Look at the first. Let us not forget about the first two games. Theodore Tapa Whitmore was outclassed in the first two games, especially the game against Panama. The Panamanian coach absolutely destroyed Theodore Tapa Whitmore. When we talk about the Panamanians having all the, 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 the numbers in the right places, right? On the park at the right time, having the right amount of numbers in the right places at the right time. When we talk about the Costa Ricans and their, the Panamanians rather, 
and their patterns of movement in that game, patterns of movement to create space, patterns of movement to get into space, patterns of movement to exploit space, right? Theodore Tapper Whitmore was, I mean, it's so many other things. Theodore Tapper Whitmore was tactically outclassed in the Panama game. And we never got to talk about the tactical deficiencies against the Mexicans, right? Guys, here's my thing. Here's, my, here's, here's really and truly why I don't want Theodore Tapper Whitmore to continue as the national coach. He needs to go right now. Think about it. We have Honduras coming up. Well, first, the Americans, right? Then the Canadians, then the Hondurans. Guys, how many points has this year do a tap away with more getting against those teams? And paper, you know, our teams measure up to those teams, you know. The problem is, does our coaching measure up to their coaching? Think about it. Do you really and truly see Theodore Tapa with more getting good results against those teams? Because I don't. Two of those games are away games. One of them is at home. Guys, at best, Theodore Tapa with more, in my opinion, will, will get two points from those three fixtures. But right? I don't see him winning any of those fixtures. I don't think he has the technical expertise to win any of those fixtures. Three fixtures, and unless him get lucky, unless him get lucky, right? At best, he will get two draws against those teams because you know we're going against them three teams there. We're gonna sit behind the ball for the entire game. We never not gonna try to counter. Honestly, that's what I see happening, and the pressure is just gonna be for the entire ninety minutes in those three respective games because Tapa never not got Tapa never not gonna try to counter or even try to hold the ball for any sustained amount of time to try and relieve the pressure off of the back line. Guys, what is going to take place is that I, I, I really and truly foresee Tapa being fired. If, if the JFF is not going to fire him now, right? But I would be shocked if Tapa Whitmore is not fired in the next round of fixtures, either after game five or after game six, right? By that point in time, we have we would have lost so much ground. Guys, I really and truly, and I don't wish this upon us, but I'm I'm being real right now. I don't see us. I'm being real right now. I don't, I, it doesn't give me pleasure to say it, right? But I have to be real. I don't see us being on. If Theodore Tapa Whitmore coaches all three games in the upcoming round of fixtures, I don't see us being. And more than three points. After those six games have been completed, the three coming up plus the three are already gone. I don't see us being on more than six points and more than three points, rather. I don't. Tapa Whitmore will certainly be fired after that. He will be, I think he will be fired even after game five if we lose both game four and game five. The moral of the story is I see Tapa Whitmore being fired after the next round of fixtures because I don't see the next round of fixtures going well. Think about it. The three upcoming teams that we are facing in the next round of fixtures are better, barring the Mexicans, are better than the two of the three teams that we played in the last round of fixtures. Think about it. In my opinion, you know, I had, I had Canada... US and Honduras finishing ahead of us in the octagonal. You know. These are not joke teams coming up, guys. As a matter of fact, I still believe that three out of those four teams will occupy the top four spots. My thing is that if we delay, if we delay moving on from Tapa, it will be too deep a hole that we find ourselves in too late in the qualifiers. For starters, a new coach will need time right to familiarize himself with the players right even not on a personal even if not on a personal level but at least watching tape of the players to know the type of players right that he's dealing with watching like games and so forth and so forth right if Paul Hall will be his replacement even though he will know the players more yes true but he will need time to settle as the coach we have what about a month to go before the next round of fixtures Use that time to bring in a new coach to, to have him to settle during that time. Don't wait until after we lose game four or after we lose game, game five. In the middle of those, I mean, 
if we wait until then, we have to call them three fixtures a day, man. Honestly, we would have to call them three fixtures a day. Do it now. Because trust me, if we don't do it now, what is going to happen is, in my opinion, what I foresee is either going to be fired after game four, if it goes really bad, after game five, or after game six. Because I don't see him lasting in a job longer than those three games. Because I don't wish it upon us. I'm just being real. I don't see those three fixtures going well with Tapa as the head coach. We're going to delay the settling process for a new coach. If we delay Tapa's removal, right? Delay the process of a new coach getting to know the players. If it is a coach other than Paul Hall, as I said, guys, Money issue, I think from a monetary standpoint, it would serve the JFF better for go borrow some money, for go pay a new decent coach, find, try and find a, a good bargain deal and pay him because Tapa ain't getting us to the World Cup, in my opinion, and the losses are going to be far greater, right? I, I think we are delaying the inevitable if we don't get rid of Theodore Tapa Whitmore and if we delay getting rid of Tapa more games will pass, the hole will go deeper and deeper and deeper, and we will. it will lessen the likelihood of us qualifying because the hole will be deeper and it will be too much to do in too little time. But guys, that's my two cents again with the greatest of respect to Theodore Tapa Whitmore. So guys, enjoy the rest of your day. Stay safe, take care, and until next time.